Alex here from Black Sheep IT Consulting. So today I came across something interesting. Uh, we're looking at an AI profile in the SMC. That's a profile my AI is currently using. So I'm about to edit this. And we all know the rest inbound defaults it's like three parameters. So the object manager you're going to use, the REST response base URL, the ever elusive URL that you only understand when you see a REST response the first time, and that maximum possible connection, the pool size, as it says in the description. So these are fine and good, and some of you might have wondered about these uh, REST resource parameter list entry, which is empty by default. So what I did, I clicked plus, and I'll do it again. <laughs> it creates that query section. So let's remove that one. So that query section, which you can obviously rename, and it seems to map to a method. So rest query, okay. And then there's a parameter list. So let's look at the description. It's a provide the method that you will specify in the rest request. For this method, aliases configured below will be applicable. This value must not be left empty. So this is the name of a method in the REST request. So query maps to get uh, for, let's say, the data API. And it's an alias list. So what I did, just experimentation, I added search spec, which is an existing parameter to run a query in REST. And I set an alias like Q, okay, Google style or something like that. So I, I will add another one, let's say, um, well, sort spec. So that's an existing parameter. And let's say the alias is S. Why not? So uh, kind of short code for the parameters. And let's save that. And now we're in Postman. And I'll do a describe first. So data slash account slash account describe will get me the open API or swagger description of the account business component interface for REST. So this is an older Siebel version, so I get swagger. In newer Siebel versions, you get uh, open API 3 by default. And let's look for sort spec. Yes, that's a query parameter and sort spec. So these are documented here. And of course I can run a query against the account business component here. For example, let's do uh, fields. I'm just interested in the name and location field. Let's just run this query, see if we're on the right track. Okay, get back a list of the first 10 records by default, starting with 3Com. So that's Siebel sample database. That's the first record. There must be another one. Well, we have child links. Let's exclude them. Child links, none. Let's keep those child links out. Yeah, there's the second one, starts with A. So the sorting is obviously alphabetic by, by name. So now let's do a classic search spec. So search spec equals name, let's say name like M asterisk. So anything that starts with M and that should, well, Give me name starting with M first. So that's fine. Of course, if I write something random like search, it doesn't understand that. It doesn't necessarily complain, but it comes back with the original, well, first record. So it ignores that. So now let's see the power of those aliases. So I enter Q equals my search spec. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> so. This really uh, applies a mapping from the alias name to the original parameter. So I can now use Q and search spec to define the search spec. Of course, that Q parameter is cute and it uh, well makes my URL a little bit more lightweight, if you will. So it's, a, it's actually quite a nice feature. So I enter the second parameter, for S for sort spec, an alias. So let's uh, try to add, well, sort spec 
and this goes like field colon and sort order so name descending should get us well the names yeah in descending sort so Myers beverages is first now and let's try replace sort spec with the alias s and here you go it's sorted as well so uh, the ai understands that and maps it out correctly okay that's it uh, signing off thanks for watching take care and bye bye